Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. I'm going to take you through our brand new updated multi-selector tool for scraping data off a web page. But before I show you the amazing new features, I want to say a big thank you to Boris, to Rizwan and of course to Simon for getting this feature ready to ship. I've got the easy part. I get you to show you all the cool stuff. Okay, let's dive in. So for those familiar or unfamiliar with Axiom, I'll just run through where you can find this um, selector tool in Axiom. It's basically a feature within our get data from web page and get links from web pages um, steps. If I add one of these steps, I can take you straight to this new feature. Now, if you're a previous user of Axiom, you'll notice, notice straight away on Axiom, our custom data step, uh, sorry, our custom selector step is no longer there. The feature hasn't been removed. What we've done is give it a, a brand new UI to make it a truly no code tool. And we've moved it inside the selector tool because that seemed a more logical place to store it. Now I'm gonna show you the updated selector tool. You may have noticed over the last couple of months that the design has been po being polished um, release by release. Well, this release takes a ma ma massive step forward. I'm just gonna click select and Get on with this, showing you the let's talk and get on and showing you here you can see our select tool and for customers who've just signed in and created a new axiom account you're going to get a custom walkthrough i'm going to just skip through that and get straight into the nuts and bolts oops just got a camera in the way okay so we've got axioms columns you'll, you'll notice this design has been tidied up what i'm going to do is take you through the basic features and very quickly and then show you what's new. So selecting on a data on a page is still super easy. It's still point, click, and you get your selection. You can add more columns to select more data and so on. You can change the type of data you want to get from HTML to links. You'll also notice our group, grouping algorithm. So we've got three columns here. I'm gonna get a third column of data. You can notice that Axiom is automatically lining up and associating all that data. That's our grouping algorithm. Sometimes you need to click and reselect to get it all neatly lined up. But as you learn to use Axiom, you'll understand how that works. Now, that's the basics. You can see it's all been polished up and it's looking pretty damn cool. But let's show you the really cool new feature because we've added this custom selector tool. If I click the custom selector here, I can apply a custom selector to any of my selections. Now it was very hard to do that in Axiom before you had to edit our data object that contained the CSS selectors. Now we've got a tr truly no code way of doing this. I can just click on any column and um, set a custom selector. So let's go into this column here and set this custom selector. You'll see the tool has transformed into this layout. And on the left here, you've got a tool that allows you to edit live your selectors. And then it will highlight them on the page when it finds those selectors, it will highlight the element it's found. We also present you with alternative suggestions here that you can try out. You can change your selector and you can try out. That's really useful when, for example, you've run the bot and the data set is perhaps missing a couple of results. Why does that happen? Because selectors change on the page. Well, we're presenting you, you um, a few different selectors to try to see if you can optimize your result set. You can also, what I truly love um, about this tool myself is you can also work out your own selectors. So I'm just gonna open developer the, um, yeah, I'm just gonna move me outside of the way here, whoops back to here. I'm just going to open the Chrome tools. So in combination with Chrome Inspector, I can look at the page and I can identify selectors. Now, I can just take those selectors myself. I'm going to take this attribute selector and see if I can select that name or select, select the A tags. So I'm going to just click back into the selector tool here, go to custom selector. And because I haven't pre-selected anything, it starts off blank, but I can go straight away. Now I've inspected the page. I can start by you trying to use an attribute selector. And bingo, I've managed to select the title and the name using this attribute. 
that's pretty damn powerful. This tool will really help you um, hone your automations, hone your web scraping, so you can get the, the right data off the, off the page. It's pretty cool. I hope you enjoy this feature. Do let us know if you've got any ideas for any features. Email us at support at axiom.ai. Like I said, I'm a co-founder. I will pick up that email and read it, and we will add it to our ideas board. We also have a roadmap on our website if you're interested in contributing an idea to that. We hope you enjoy this new feature. We think it makes it super easy to use custom selectors, and it's the first of many improvements that are going to be rolling out. Thank you.